You know, looking back, I would say this year was fairly eventful. <laughs> you said it. It's hard to believe we even made it this far, to be honest. But I never doubted we would make it eventually. So what's your favorite memory? What do you mean? Come on! Favorite memory in high school, genius. If I had to choose mine, I'd probably say back when I was in high school, when I pulled the fire alarm to get out of that test that I wasn't ready for. Oh, that's right. Man, Mr. Lattimore was not happy with you that day. I mean, then again, you do have a habit of causing trouble and always getting yourself into dangerous situations. Damn right. Why follow the system when it feels like you were born to blaze your own path? That's why I always say, live life at your own pace. Follow where your heart takes you. But man, I would do anything to go back and see Mr. Lattimore's face again. I was laughing the whole way home. <laughs> Still gets me going. But really, what's your favorite memory? Um, let's see. I think it's gotta be that party we went to. You know the one. Yeah, I remember that. I definitely had way too much to drink that night. <sighs> yeah, you're telling me. You know, I don't remember too much of that night. Although I wish I did. You and I were drinking and dancing with all of my fellow graduates. I mean, hell, we deserved it. After everything mom and dad put us through? I mean, it's not like they were too eager to celebrate with us anyway. Screw them! They didn't even show up to your ceremony. Probably arguing like they have for the past couple years. It kinda reminds me of when I pulled that fire alarm at school. They had audacity to tell me that I needed to grow up. If anyone needed to grow up, it was them. It's like they didn't even know we were there. Yeah. I just wish they would have come to the ceremony. I mean, that's all I really cared about anyway. But I appreciate what you did, Noah. I mean, despite their absence, at least I had you there to cheer me up. As for the party, all I know is it was a fun party. And I woke up at home the next day. I'm pretty sure Lucy gave me a ride. Or at least that's what my messages say. Honestly, I was too drunk to really remember at the time. Wow, you really don't remember? You know what happened. Come on, Claire, think back. <sighs> nope, sorry. Not ringing any bells. I mean, it was a week ago after all. Yeah, that's true. Quite the graduation party. I just remember driving home and then, well, the nothing. So what's your big plan? What do you have moving forward? To be honest, I really don't know. I mean, you and I have always been together, but now for the first time, I just, I feel alone. Hey, look, Squirt, we may be going different places in the future, but one thing's for sure. We're family, and that's not going to change. Yeah, I know. It's just going to take some adjusting with me not seeing you every day. Yeah, I know. But hey, it's good we got this last chance to recap our fun times together. I mean, yeah, but looking back, I definitely could have stopped you from taking all those shots. Yeah, huh. Probably would have saved me from a killer hangover. Or at least helped me when I was driving back home that night. Would have helped you from a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, what happens now? Now? Well, I guess you'll just have to keep moving forward and find out, right? It's like my advice from earlier. Just go where your heart takes you, squirt. Yeah, I guess so.